Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Today we're going places, because we got places to go. And by that, I mean smacking dudes in the face. I heard a little my my back there. Today we're still exploring, so... Oh, there you are. I think somebody mentioned to take these guys out. You want to just lean... You want to aim a little bit to one side of them. And it'll a lot more accurately get past their sword. I still think it's... I mean, even if you can do it, I still feel like it's unnecessary. Ah, uh, B. The one guy wanted me to bring him a bee. I should probably do something about that. I do have an empty bottle, too, so I probably... I could. I should. Okay, we can actually travel our way up Death Mountain at this point. I'll save that for another time, though. Or at the very least, for later. Because that's gonna be a whole adventure in of itself. I already went in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. I think I ran through most of this top area already, actually. So instead, I'm gonna take a run through here. Which, again, I'm pretty sure I already have. And I actually forget how to get across here. Oh, I can just do that. I sure am. It's alright. I like it. You need to fix your rug, dude. Yeah, I'm getting there. Why didn't this guy tell me the thing? Oh, well. Oh. Sure. I sure do. There's some interesting ones in here, but I think the most interesting one is probably the witch, but we'll go up to that one. Yes, you're not one to gossip. Is he the old guy who stands off to the side and tells me about Street Pass? Mm hmm. That's a handstand, let me tell you. Really? You want me to spread it? Oh man, get to hear about the princess. Yeah, sure. Yawn. It attacked her. It wasn't me, I swear.
So perhaps looking for a hero, or looking for the... Affection gained in stories past. Now the witch, we haven't actually seen the witch. But she's the lady that I started the previous video next to. I don't know, I think it's adorable, even for, like, an old lady. To be acting like that. That's alright. That's a, that's a sad tale. Alright, anything else we can do in here while we're here? I've already done, I'm pretty sure I've already done a fair amount of exploring in here, though I completely forgot how to do that. That leads up to the Lost Woods, which we will get to later. I hear a little Mai Mai somewhere. I hear him. Oh, there he is. Come here, you nub. You nublet. Um, I think that's actually it. Not a lot we can do in the Lost Forest right now. Okay, I hear another one. Ah! Oh, you're just kind of chilling over there. Couple things we can't do without being able to pick up big things. Go take a look at that fortune teller. How you doing, dude? Oh man! Oh, I forgot about these. But I can't get in there. There's a rock in the way. To be honest, I've never found the hint glasses to be especially useful. I mean, I've I've tried, but like every time I feel like I'm stuck, I'd use them and there'd be nothing of value there. So I did not get what was in here. Oh, man. Okay, pretty sure there's not anything in Sahazrila's house. If there is, I'll come back to it. I'm pretty sure I got what was down here, too. Yes, I did. I feel bad because I'm just kind of retreading old ground. There's a shop here. Oh, there is a shop here. And you know, I have enough money for this. Fifty bucks is cheap. The one thing I don't like about the shield in this game is that it doesn't block things automatically. I have to press R to guard. And like, I am not a defensive player. Like, I'm the dude who runs around with the big Goron sword in Ocarina of Time. I am... I am not a defensive player. So I will almost never use this shield. I liked that it was automatic previously. Because it was just an additional, like, 
power up that I had without having to. It was like a, it's like a passive ability. Cries from her roof, eh? Well, we can't actually get on her roof. See, there's a chicken over here, and you can fly. Hey. Oh man, more money. There's so much money in this game. Okay, so I'm not gonna be messing with a lot of these. I hear another... Maybe it's just the bird. I can swear I heard another little Mai Mai. Yes, the chickens will still do the thing. Oh, I know where it is. We can't get it. We can't get it yet. Okay, I think that's most things here. Still can't find Gully. Oh man! Anytime you see the loose ones like that. Oh, there was something else I wanted to look at. Well, we can look into that later. It's not that important now. I'm just gonna have to remember to. Uh, I'm gonna catch you. I caught a bee! I'm gonna put it in a bottle. Hey, dude! I gotta be. I gotta be. Have a be. Oh, man. Now, if you can find one of those, I forget how exactly you go about doing the thing. But if you can find one of those, you do get a very nice prize. Let's see here. There's a couple mini games around here. I guess I'll give them a go. So 20 bucks to play on the easiest setting. And all you have to do is stand in here and not get hit by a chicken. Now at first you go, oh, that's not that hard. It gets hard. What is that golden one doing flapping about? I wanna know what's up with his, what's his story? They just there to like cause me do, cause me trouble. Will they drop on me if they go up over my head? Now a lot of these mini games you can get something like a piece of heart or some such for doing really well at. And to be honest, I have no interest in that. But I'll give them the I'll, I'll give them the old college try. Okay, so the interesting thing about this one is they say you have 30 seconds. Now, normally running around, it's very hard to get more rupees. Yeah, there's that. It's very hard to get more rupees than the actual fee to get in. However, there are prizes for getting very close to the timer when you turn in. And there's no timer, as she said. 
so you can either count for yourself or have a stopwatch handy or something. So I'm going to make an attempt. I don't know what, if anything, pauses the timer as well. But I'm also probably getting very close to near done. I don't know if the cutscenes actually triggered it in. Or actually counted the timer. 4.72 seconds. I didn't get much, uh, money, but... Like, you get a... You, it, it does something ridiculous, like triples your score. If you get below a second. So, I'm... That's easy enough to do. I just wasn't sure if the Mai Mai thing... Actually counted the... Oh, this is not a bad shit. This is a bad deal for everybody. I was going to say not a bad show, but then I figured that doesn't make sense at all. Okay, so we're sort of running out of places to explore. Which means we may have to actually do a thing soon. Um, we are yet to explore down here, though. Bird's getting on my nerves. Eh, uh, you know what? I've got I've got an empty bottle. Fairies do the same thing in this game that they do in Link to the Past. If you die, they'll revive you. You can also free them at any time. If you, like, want some instant hearts. I'm not sure if they do what they did in Ocarina of Time, where they just gate, like, where they just immediately heal you, or if, um, they just kind of, secret here, by the way, if they just immediately heal you, heal you, or if they do what they did in Link to the Past, and you actually, like, just free them, and then you have to go chase them down. Bats. Another one of these. Gotta get that money. Getting that money. Hi, how you doing? Down here all by your lonesome. And that, then, is how you get that. Okay, there's still a bit more in the way of exploration to be done, though. Wow, it comes back. Ah, getting that money! I don't know if that's on a timer after you hit it the first time, or if it has a set number of hits before it goes away. I would imagine it's on a timer, but you never know. Okay, can't get in there without being able to pick up big ol' heavy things. Hey. Yeah, joik. Okay, what's up here? Anything up here? You know, for being kind of an important place before, there's a whole lot of not much up here. There was a teleporter and a portal to the Dark World up there. In Link to the Past. Now, there's nothing. Dumb grass. Cut your lawn. Okay, and then finally this little area in here. Okay, we can't pick those up yet. I heard a little Mai Mai.
I feel like it's going to be under one of the large rocks, though. Okay, so you can run over here, chest. I'm pretty sure I do not have the energy to be able to get anywhere of value from here. Actually, maybe I could have. Yeah, dang, I could have made that if I went in with full life. Or full energy, or whatever. Can't pick that up, but you can just kind of walk past it, so there's that. And on top of being able to go to the right, you can also head to the left. Recharge ever so briefly. That accomplished nothing for me. Um, you'll see the little rocks on the side here. I cannot go past them. You need a flat surface if you intend to... Do our do the little wall walk thing over it. Okay, I'm gonna try this one again since I think I can actually get somewhere if I go in with full full Ravio energy. But this here's going to be the last thing that we can really attempt right now. And that's most of the exploration that we can do for the time being. So, our next goal, I suppose... Oh, we can go up here. Our next goal, I suppose, is going to be going to another place. Oh, it's this place. I've got crap for depth perception, so I cannot get this at all. But you just grab a chicken... And you go have fun. Grab another chicken. Get 20 for this one. The big silver one in the middle is 100, but it's very difficult to get to since I believe there's a rather large air current directly above it. Yep, down I go. Oh well, it's just money. Alright, until next time, everyone. We're effectively done with our exploration, so next time we get to do some fun stuff. Also some more exploration. What are you looking at, Link? Looking at this big rock. Pretty sure the little Mai Mai is under that rock. He's very amused by that rock. 